money, 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 not the money here. Oh, you know, well, so over the Thanksgiving holiday, uh, Amazon uh, finally uh, put out The Sound of Freedom. Now, this was a movie that was in theaters in the summer. I did not get a chance to see it during the summer when it finally dropped on Amazon. And then during the Thanksgiving break, I finally got a chance to watch it. And I think this was a very good movie. Jim Caviezel um, does, does an excellent job. He is an F... I he works for the FBI or some high up there whose job is to track down children. He uncovers this child sex trafficking, child trafficking, child sex trafficking, in a lot of traffic. Um, of children, and he, um, one father ends up losing his two children, and he asks Jim Caviezel to go find them, bring them home. Um, this is a very important movie, this is a very serious movie. This is not a movie you go back and watch over and over again, um, but it is a very important film. Uh, the, the, it's happening in the U.S. more and more nowadays. Um, and I think what they did with the film is very important. They really don't, you know, cast aside anything. They make you, like, this, this is what's going on. Uh, grown adult men, you know, having sex with children. Um, under, underage, and it's, you know, it's horrific. It's a real horror film. Um, Jim Caviezel does a great job, I mean, he, I mean, he played Jesus in The Passion of the Christ, I mean, he's one of those actors that has never become a major star, but everything he's in, he does a great job in. Also, Bill Pope is in this, and one of the also guys that helped out Jim Caviezel, uh, find these children, specifically two children, a boy and a girl. Um, I love, I like how it's shot, the cinematography is very good. Also the transition from one scene to another, excellent. Even by the end we get to see, we go from Jim Caviezel to the real person that Jim Caviezel is playing, you know, based on a true story. And the way they transition from Jim Caviezel to the, to the real person was excellent. Um, I also like this movie was over two hours and I thought, oh man, you know, we've been in the car for like 12 hours driving here. We went to dinner late that night. Last thing I want to do is come home and put on over a two hour movie. And I was actually very surprised at how fast the film went by. Um, I think my only negative with this movie was even though it is based on a true story, I think in the, as in terms of a Hollywood film, I think if they actually had one of the children not, and they were never able to find one of the children for the film, I think it would have had an even bigger impact of the overall problem here. So I think that was my like, main thing. Like, yes, we still want that hopeful ending. But if you really want to pack a punch and really just hit people in the gut, if Jim Caviezel didn't find one of the children, I think it would have really made it more of an impact on the film. <coughs> also, the trailer made it seem to me like he uncovered like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of children when he only really uncovered about 50 of them. Now, that's still a lot of children. Over 50 children is almost two classrooms full. Um, but the, I thought the trailer made it seem like he, you know, obviously he went back and got found more children over time, like in the real person. But in terms of the film itself, I was like, oh, he's only going after two people, but he just happens to uncover, you know, like 40 or 50 more. Um, 
Well, the trailer seemed like there was a lot more killing her. Um, but overall, I think this was a very, very good film. It's a hard film to watch, I'm not gonna lie. It's a very impactful film, film that I hope the Academy does look at some of the awards. Not that I'm saying this can get awards attention, but if you want to go for that important film, this is it. 4.5 out of 5. But overall, this was a really good movie. So, did you see The Sound of Freedom? Um, it's on, I think it's on Amazon now. It was in theaters this past summer. Uh, did you get a chance to watch it? If you did, let me know what you thought about it. Matt the Mad here.